Indian peafowl. The Indian peafowl, Parvo cristatus, also known as the common peafowl, and blue peafowl, is a peafowl species native to the Indian subcontinent. It has been introduced to many other countries. The male peacock is brightly colored, with a predominantly blue fan-like crest of spatula tipped wire-like feathers and is best known for the long train made up of elongated upper tail covert feathers which bear colorful eye spots. These stiff feathers are raised into a fan and quivered in a display during courtship. Despite the length and size of these covert feathers, peacocks are still capable of flight. Peahens lack the train, and have a greenish lower neck and duller brown plumage. The Indian peafowl lives mainly on the ground in open forest or on land under cultivation where they forage for berries, grains but also prey on snakes, lizards, and small rodents. Their loud calls make them easy to detect, and in forest areas often indicate the presence of a predator such as a tiger. They forage on the ground in small groups and usually try to escape on foot through undergrowth and avoid flying, though they fly into tall trees to roost. The function of the peacock's elaborate train has been debated for over a century. In the 19th century, Charles Darwin found it a puzzle, hard to explain through ordinary natural selection. His later explanation, sexual selection, is widely but not universally accepted. In the 20th century, Amot Zahavi argued that the train was a handicap, and that males were honestly signaling their fitness in proportion to the splendor of their trains. Despite extensive study, opinions remain divided on the mechanisms involved. The bird is celebrated in Hindu and Greek mythology and is the national bird of India. The Indian peafowl is listed as of least concern by the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN. Description. Peacocks are a larger sized bird with a length from bill to tail of 100 to 115 centimeters and to the end of a fully grown train as much as 195 to 225 centimeters and weigh 4 to 6 kilogram. The females, or peahens, are smaller at around 95 cm in length and weigh 2.75 to 4 kg. Indian peafowl are among the largest and heaviest representatives of the Phasianidae. So far as is known, only the wild turkey grows notably heavier. The green peafowl is slightly lighter in body mass despite the male having a longer train on average than the male of the Indian species. Their size, color and shape of crest make them unmistakable within their native distribution range. The male is metallic blue on the crown, the feathers of the head being short and curled. The fan-shaped crest on the head is made of feathers with bare black shafts and tipped with bluish-green webbing. A white stripe above the eye and a crescent-shaped white patch below the eye are formed by bare white skin. The sides of the head have iridescent greenish-blue feathers. The back has scaly bronze-green feathers with black and copper markings. The scapula and the wings are buff and barred in black, the primaries are chestnut and the secondaries are black. The tail is dark brown and the train is made up of elongated upper tail coverts, more than 200 feathers. The actual tail has only 20 feathers, and nearly all of these feathers end with an elaborate eye spot. A few of the outer feathers lack the spot and end in a crescent-shaped black tip. The underside is dark glossy green shading into blackish under the tail. The thighs are buff colored. The male has a spur on the leg above the hind toe. The adult peahen has a rufous brown head with a crest as in the male but the tips are chestnut edged with green. The upper body is brownish with pale modeling. The primaries, secondaries and tail are dark brown. The lower neck is metallic green and the breast feathers are dark brown glossed with green. The remaining underparts are whitish. Downy young are pale buff with a dark brown mark on the nape that connects with the eyes. Young males look like the females but the wings are chestnut colored. Mutations and hybrids. There are several color mutations of Indian peafowl. These very rarely occur in the wild, but selective breeding has made them common in captivity. The black-shouldered or Japan mutation was initially considered as a subspecies PC, nigropenis, or even a species, and was a topic of some interest during Darwin's time. It is however only a case of genetic variation within the population. In this mutation, the adult male is melanistic with black wings. Young birds with the nigropenis mutation are creamy white with fulvous tipped wings. The gene produces melanism in the male and in the peahen it produces a dilution of color with creamy white and brown markings. Other variations include the pied and white forms all of which are the result of allelic variation at specific loci. 
cross between a male green peafowl, Parvo muticus, and a female Indian peafowl, P. cristatus, produces a stable hybrid called a Spalding, named after Mrs. Keith Spalding, a bird fancier in California. There can be problems if birds of unknown pedigree are released into the wild, as the viability of such hybrids and their offspring is often reduced. See Haldane's rule and outbreeding depression. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video please like and subscribe.